Instant Details and Accordance 11 Preferences. This is podcast number 113. It's at the basic level and requires no knowledge of Accordance Bible software, Hebrew, or Greek. Instant Details is one of the most easily recognizable features of Accordance and one of the most useful. In this podcast, we'll look at several different ways to customize it to our individual preferences. That includes taking a look at the new Accordance 11 Amplify preferences. Setting up instant details so it works best for us is just one way of improving our workflow in Accordance 11. Accordance's instant details displays more information about the word, link, or place currently under the cursor. Among other things, it lets us study a Bible or text quickly and efficiently. This podcast is going to focus on this particular use. Using instant details with verse references, we can hover over a reference to see its cross-references, apparatus, or other kinds of information, which varies with the text or translation under study. We can also hover and press the command key to see the default commentary or tool, or triple-click the verse reference to open the reference tool in another tab or zone. In tag text, instant details also lets us investigate individual words rapidly. For instance, We can hover over a word to see its key number or parsing information. We can hover and press the command key to see its definition, or triple-click the word to open its definition in another tab or zone. Let's take a look at these features in action. Instant details for verse references. Hover to see cross-references. Hover plus command key for a default commentary. Triple-click to see the default commentary in a separate zone. Hover over an original text to see its apparatus. Hover and press the command key to see its default commentary. And triple click to open it in a new zone. Instant details for words and tag text. Hover over a word to see its key number. Press the command key to see the key number dictionary and the English Bible dictionary. Triple click to see the key number dictionary or Greek Hebrew lexicon. Shift triple click to see the English Bible dictionary. Hover over an original language text to see its parsing. Hover and press the command key to see the lexicon. Triple click to open that lexicon in its own zone or tab. And then select different lexicons to compare their definitions. We can choose to view instant details in any one of four different ways as a popover, as a panel at the bottom of the workspace, as an independent window, or as a floating window that automatically fades when not in use. Here's a quick look at each of these views. Option click to see a pop-up instant details. Click this button to open instant details as an attached panel. Click this button to detach the window. and use preferences to turn that detached window into one that automatically fades. This is a handy chart of those four views we just looked at and how to activate and cancel them. Now each view has some advantages. The pop-up saves the most space and can be scrolled to view additional information. It may be the best choice for those of us with very small monitors. The panel view displays information instantly. This is the most common setting, especially attached to the workspace at the very bottom, although it can be moved to the side as well. As an independent window, we can move, resize, or rearrange instant details as desired, even on a separate monitor. I've known a few people who have set up mega-size instant details on large external monitors. Finally, there's the fading window, which also saves space although it does hide what is underneath it when active. Feel free to experiment with all four, then choose the view that suits you the best. Instant Details Preferences determines what information appears for many items and can be customized using Accordance's preferences. There are several different preferences that affect Instant Details, so let's take a look at each of them in turn. Mac users will find preferences under the Accordance menu, while Windows users will find theirs in the Edit menu. In either case, this is where we can set a variety of personal preferences. 
The primary place to set instant detail preferences is in the preference pane that bears its name. Most of these preferences are self-explanatory, including that option for automatic fading we mentioned earlier. The only two settings that may not be obvious are parsing, under key numbers, and key information, under Greek and Hebrew. Together, these two settings determine whether instant details will combine information from a modern Bible translation tagged with key numbers with parsing information from Greek and Hebrew original texts. Now, these settings really don't matter unless we have a tagged Greek and Hebrew Bible in our libraries. If we do, it makes a big difference. Here's what I mean. With both off, the only information that appears in instant details comes from that particular Bible. With both turned on, an English translation also shows the parsing from the Greek or Hebrew Bible, while the original language text also shows the key number information from an English Bible. In effect, either text shows both kinds of information. If we have more than one text of each kind, we can even set which texts are used in the preferences for Compare Text. One of the changes in Accordance 11 is that triple-click default resources are no longer set by library order. In Accordance 10, we set them by moving resources to the top of their respective categories in the library. No longer. Now we set them in Preferences, under Amplify. We can click and choose from a menu of resources in five different categories. English is drawn from dictionaries, Greek from Greek lexicons, and Hebrew from Hebrew lexicons. Latin is currently limited to the two or three Latin dictionaries we offer. And verse reference? Well, verse references is a bit more complicated. Let's take a look at it separately. We can choose the default for verse references from a surprising variety of resources. It can be any tool in commentaries, study Bibles, cross-references, translator notes, or apparatus. But there are a number of other choices as well, like the manuscript images in the visual category. Be sure to check your own copy of Accordance to see what your choices are. Key number preferences are also set in the Amplify pane, as they too now have triple-click defaults. Accordance 11, for the first time, allows us to override the key number dictionaries tied to each translation. That's great news for those of us using Bible versions that were once tied to those old, outdated Strong's Hebrew and Greek dictionaries. Now we can set all our translations to the same key number dictionaries, or we can bypass the key number system entirely and go directly to our regular Hebrew and Greek lexicons. The choice is ours. Here are some examples, tailored to different kinds of users. For personal Bible study, consider using Mount's Greek and Kohlenberger Mount's Hebrew dictionaries. These are both included in every Accordance collection, so this is also the least expensive option. Want to dig a bit deeper? Consider adding Mounts's Expository Dictionary for Old and New Testament Words for $29.90. It covers the entire Bible and has some great articles on the most important Hebrew and Greek words. If you're a pastor and own Nidnet and Nidot, consider setting your defaults to these two resources. You'll have instant access to relevant, detailed information that's practical without being overly technical. If you're a professor teaching from an English text, you may want to set your defaults to the scholarly standards in the field, BDAG and Halot, or, alternately, Liddell and Scott and the Dictionary of Classical Hebrew. Either choice will give you the best of scholarly research at your fingertips. Remember, these settings determine both what appears in instant details when the command key is pressed and which resource appears when the word is triple-clicked. Once we open a lexicon, we can then easily switch to other similar lexicons in sequence. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of these four resources. First in Hebrew, then in Greek. Each of us has to decide for ourselves what kind of information is most useful and how much information is enough. Instant Details is a powerful tool for Bible study, especially if we take just a few minutes to tweak it to our preferences. I'm pleased to report that Accordance 11 has made it better than ever. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.